Hello everybody, Gabriella from Terra Wonderland here. I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas and I want to wish you all a very happy new year coming up in 2017. This weekly reading is going to run from December 26th to January 1st, New Year's Day 2017. And I want to take this time to thank all of you for being here with me on this channel. In past years, over the current year and into 2017, I've got a lot of exciting stuff planned and I'm really glad that you're here with me and I thank you for being here. So this week I am using the Tarot of Casanova and I have to say I know this deck probably isn't going to be for everyone because it does include nudity and it depicts sexual situations. I know that kind of thing makes offense some people and may make some people uncomfortable so I want to let you know ahead of time if that sort of thing does offend you you probably shouldn't continue, but I hope you do, because this deck is amazing. It is so beautiful. It is so elegant, and I think it's really refined in its own way. It's got a special vibe to it, very special, and I just adore it. I just got it recently, and I wanted to break it out and use it for our weekly reading. So I hope you stick around and join me for the reading. Let's continue. So our three cards for this reading are the Nine of Cups, the Hermit, and the Page of Cups in reverse. The court cards in this deck are numbered 11, 12, 13, and 14. This is 11, so this would be the Page of Cups. So I'll go through the cards individually and then sum up at the end. So our first card is the Nine of Cups, and you see what I mean by this deck. It does not hold back. Um, actually, one of the things I really enjoy about this deck is its sexual overtones. Like it's it makes you think about the meaning of the card in kind of a different way, and it, it illustrates it to you in a different way. And um, the Nine of Cups is known as the Wish card, and I think that's pretty appropriate here, considering that most men's wish is to be exactly in this position. Uh, this woman is servicing him, she is performing oral sex on him, and he's just sitting there enjoying it, right? That's most guys' dream, is to be in this position. Um, so... The Nine of Cups is about getting your wishes, having all your wishes come true, feeling like you are just at the top at the top of your game, like you have everything you want. Uh, life is just wonderful. Life is pleasurable. Uh, you want for nothing. You are completely satisfied. You are uh, very, very comfortable where you are. You are enjoying life to the fullest. I think one interesting aspect, though, of this great card is that Pleasure is so fleeting. You know, when you feel this way, it, it never lasts forever. It, you kind of have to take what you can get. I mean, in this context here, anybody could walk into the room and interrupt them. And also, I mean, sooner or later, this, this event is going to be over, right? So it never lasts forever. This kind of pleasure, this kind of uh, feeling like the greatest never lasts forever. It always comes to an end. So I think what this card is saying to us is really enjoy the moment. Really enjoy the way you feel right now. If you're feeling very happy, if you're feeling very content, just enjoy it. Absorb every moment of it and um, just enjoy what you have. Our next card is the Hermit, Major Arcana number nine. Quite a different vibe from that first card. This card is all about retreating from the world. It's being by yourself, not being in the company of other people, not seeking pleasure, uh, not engaging in the world, just taking the time to reflect, to get away from the hustle and bustle of everyday life and really think about your life and think about things. Something is calling you to uh, remove yourself and to think about something very deeply and kind of analyze it. Okay, the hermit is a very wise person. He's often thought of as a teacher or a mentor. So there could be somebody in your life this week who is playing this role, who is being a teacher to you, who is a very wise person who shares their knowledge with you. Or this card could simply be telling you that um, sometime this week you need to do this. You need to retreat from the world a little bit and think about things and examine uh, maybe what's gone on for you in the past year and are you happy with things are you happy with the way things went uh, what do you want to achieve in the in the next year what do you want to change uh, these things all need to be considered at this time so this card could be calling you to do that this week so our third card is the page of cups this card again came up reversed for us so it is emphasized the first thing that strikes me about this card are the gestures he is making with his hands 
He's holding the cup upraised as if to offer it to us, and his hand is extended as well. It's as if he's inviting us to join him. The Page of Cups is associated with someone young and sensitive, so I immediately think when I look at this card that this man, Casanova, is inviting us to join him in a relationship. He's offering his heart to someone. He's open. He's willing. He wants to begin a relationship. So for me, this card is talking about us wanting to begin a relationship. Either you yourself offering your heart to someone or someone offering their heart to you. Pages can also be messengers, so this could be a message of love extended to you this week. Or again, you extending a message to someone about wanting to start a relationship. So it's talking about that vulnerability we all feel whenever we go in cold, you know, without knowing for sure how the other person feels. And when we profess our feelings to someone we care about, we always have that moment where we're like, eh, we're on edge, right? Just thinking, will they love us back? Do they want us as much as we want them? There's always that moment when we're not sure, when we're afraid, but we still feel compelled to approach them. And with the card reversed, I think that it's emphasized for us this week. Perhaps the reversal can be referring to hurt feelings that occurred when we found out someone didn't want us the same way we wanted them. Or we're afraid that will happen. We want to love, but we're afraid we will be rejected. It's about being vulnerable, but it's also about still being brave enough to take that chance on love. Okay, so putting all three of these cards together, there's a lot going on here. There could be several interpretations here. My first thought is that, this is a general reading, so it's not going to apply to everybody, but for those of you who are in a relationship, who have been in a long-term relationship in particular, these cards may be calling your attention to either you or, you may need to ask yourself, are you giving more than the other person is giving to you? That's the first thought I get, because with that Nine of Cups card where that woman is servicing him, she's doing everything, she is just focused on giving him pleasure. She's not so much concerned with her own pleasure. She's focused on giving him pleasure, and he's just sitting there enjoying it and taking it all in. With that Page of Cups card in the reverse, it's kind of suggesting an imbalance in a relationship. And this may be with that Hermit card, why that has come up. It's calling you to look at that and examine that and think about it. There is some kind of deep meaning going on here that you need to figure out. So could you be, if you're in a relationship, do you feel that you're giving way more than the other person is giving you? And if that's the case, that's probably going to cause a problem in the relationship. If not now, then sometime in the future. And it needs to be resolved. Now, if you're not in a relationship, if you're currently single, you this this reading may be calling you to examine the way you are in relationships. You know, before you get into another one, you may need to reflect on this. Are you the kind of person who gives way more than the other person does? And is this a problem for you? Is there a lot of imbalances? Have there been a lot of imbalances in your relationships? Because this needs to be resolved before you move on to another relationship. It could also be that you're the one in the relationship who is giving less and the other person is giving way more than you are. And if that's the case, that needs to be examined as well. Why is that? Do you not care as much about the other person as they care about you? And if so, why are you in the relationship? Um, you know, do you feel guilty about, uh, you know, using the, this person for your own gratification? Okay, that could be something that you need to look at and ask yourself, you know, why you're doing this. And why is this person, why is this person content to accept you know, giving you all this and you're not giving it back. It's either one or the other. You need to examine why you're giving more than, than one person or why you're giving less. Okay, that's that's one thing that's coming up for me here in this reading. This needs to be looked at and this needs to be examined because it is a problem. Another possibility here, another interpretation that's totally different is it could be saying to you that you could have a relationship like this. You could be in a relationship that gives you a lot of joy, that gives you a lot of pleasure, um, but you are 
maybe too much of a hermit. Maybe you have been isolating yourself way too much. You know, maybe you're not giving people the opportunity to get into a relationship with you. Maybe you're afraid of getting into a relationship. Uh, maybe some, maybe a past relationship has really hurt you where you're the one who's given all your all and the other person give, didn't give back to you and therefore you've retreated and you've isolated yourself and you've, you've kept yourself from getting into a relationship. And um, everybody should have that joy in their life. Everybody should have uh, a relationship that they are very content in, that they're happy in, that they're, that they're compatible with the other person. That's kind of a basic human right that all of us should, should get to enjoy that in our life. And if you've been holding yourself back, I think you really need to look at this and examine why. Why are you, are you afraid of getting into a relationship? Have you been really hurt in the past? Are you just, maybe you're just not interested. Maybe you're happy being a hermit. Um, I don't know, but this, this, this reading could be calling your attention to that. Uh, the fact that, um, there is this kind of pleasure available for you in your life. You can have the happiness and joy of being in a happy relationship with somebody else, but this tendency of yours to kind of be a hermit and keep yourself away from people and keep yourself from getting close, keep yourself from getting close to another person, you're really missing out and you don't have to miss out. There is somebody out there for you. Uh, you know, they might not, you might not meet them, you know, when you want to meet them, like when you need them, but there is somebody out there for you. There's somebody out there for everybody. And we all deserve to have this in our lives. So ask yourself if you're, if you're happy, if you've been keeping yourself away from other people, if you've been avoiding relationships, um, is it making you happy or is it making you miserable? Cause if it's making you, if you're happy with it, I guess that's fine. If, if that's what you want, if you don't want to be in a relationship, that's fine. But if it's making you miserable and you really wish you could be in a relationship and you're not getting it, then you really need to examine this and think about it this week. And, just kind of think about your relationship issues, if you have any, and how you can possibly resolve them. Okay, so that's what's coming to me for this weekly reading. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed the cards. I love these cards. I just adore them. Um, but anyway, if you did like the reading, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Once again, I want to thank all of you guys for being here with me, and I want to wish you a very happy new year. I wish you all the best, all the happiness, all the love, prosperity, success, in 2017. I hope all of you get exactly what you what you want in your lives uh, in 2017 and onwards. So thank you very much. If you would like a personal private reading with me, I will link my website in the description box below so you can click that link and book a reading with me. And please like my Facebook page. I am doing tarot and oracle card draws on my Facebook page. I'm using different tarot decks and oracle card decks every day. It's really cool. It's really interesting. You're seeing a lot of different things and learning a lot of different things about the cards. So I hope you join me over there. It's a lot of fun and uh, I think you'll enjoy it. So guys, have a wonderful, wonderful week. Have a wonderful new year and I will see you next week for our next weekly reading. Bye for now.